right? It's that time, that time of the day. And my favorite bit, right as the show's about to go live, my, sh- my chair starts sinking like <laughs> a half an inch at a time. We're going to have to dip in the, into the, the, the legendary uh, Rhode Island sinkhole. Is right. Up again. We're going to have to dip into those deep uh, Kofi account funds to get me a chair that won't sink because <laughs> I'll be like this by the third inning, but that's okay. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, this is the Eternal Baseball Podcast. As always, it's the best 60 minutes of baseball you'll see all week. And that's especially true tonight. because Man, we got a good game. They're all good games, just like we love all our children equally. But this one is a star athlete who never gets in trouble, who gets good grades. It's uh, St. Louis Cardinals versus Chicago Cubs, two best teams in the National League. Nice little blood rivalry. They're fighting on top of the of that National League North, which is one of the probably the best division in eternal baseball this year, and always good because Cubs, Cardinals, uh, Pirates, and oh, I'm gonna hang myself out. Oh, Reds. Uh, who <laughs> were in the, <laughs> in the thick of it, but have uh, have fallen off the pace a little bit lately. But when I say fallen off the pace, they're still like 12 games over 500. They're just in a in a, in a rotten division. So anyway, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you're back, we appreciate you coming back. Yeah, welcome, new, Cameron James. We got right. hanging out here in the chat. Let me bring it on board here. Uh, it's, oh, yeah, it might be more than ten years to get that chair. I'm sorry to tell Mark about it, but I'm <laughs> telling you, man. Like chairs, a uh, computer chairs are the bane of my existence. We gotta find. <laughs> Something a little more uh, steady here. You just gotta go hardcore and get like one of those beanbag setups where you're just fully in the recline. You see that the, that bit is like I invented this cherry. Like it looks awful. <laughs> Way to go! But uh, there are no Astros on the program today. But uh, the Astros have clawed their way into first place in a I'm gonna call it a very tepid National League uh, South. But we'll get to that. Uh, coming up in just a little bit. First off, let me pop, uh, let's share uh, a couple things. Oh, uh, we'll get the birthdays out of the way. John Smiley, Reese Hoskins, and raise your hand if you know Raul Chavez, Daph Gammons, or Rod Scurry. Uh, Rod Scurry. I have no idea who Rod Scurry is. Don't know, but I hope he had a, a really wonderful <laughs> birthday today. Um, let me share my screen here. As well as the audio, although that crawfish on us last week. Uh, we'll go here, share the audio, share. Okay. So this will uh, give you a look at the week that was. We're out here in week 18. And if, if you do the math, there's 27 weeks in the regular season. So we are at the two-thirds point. Uh, so still a little time, unless you're in Washington. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a chance to make uh, make some hay, but it is time to get moving uh, if you've got designs on making the playoffs. Our uh, strong team this week are the Cleveland Guardians at 5-1, and one, and they're making a push towards a wild card in the American League. We'll get to that, too. The Dodgers have taken control of the NL West again by virtue of their 5-1 and one week and San Diego's 1-5 and five week. So there's a little distance there for the boys in blue. Uh, Mets and Yankees both had uh, good weeks at five and one, but the Mets are a long ways back. They're going to have to keep that up if they want to catch Philadelphia. And uh, the St. Louis Cardinals strong this week at five and one. Your tough weeks uh, fell to your Colorado Rockies, Pittsburgh Pirates, who've had a good year, but a tough week. Padres, we talked about, they all went one and five. But your 0 and six tough weeks to deal with Tampa Bay Rays and Washington Nationals. So Washington has won four games in the last four weeks. So I don't know if they make managerial changes in uh, <laughs> baseball very often. How are you going to fire Dave Martinez? Uh, True. Again, it's not like the new guy is going to have new, <laughs> new pitching staff to deal with. So uh, Washington, we, we kid, but they have the hardest row to hoe, right? They only draw talent from 2005. They don't even get access to the Expos talent because the Expos are a separate entity. So we feel you, Washington. Uh, better luck next year, I guess. Um, but uh, that's what we have for the week that was. Uh, now, remember, uh, the game we're playing today, Cubs and uh, uh, Cardinals, 
is the last game off tomorrow's schedule. So these standings here reflect games that shouldn't have even been played yet. But if you get me in bed before midnight, we're simming that stuff earlier in the day. So it's important for us old guys. Yeah, come on now. You gotta uh gotta get the, the I mean I need all the beauty sleep I can get, let's be honest. But yeah, me too. Oh if you okay, everyone within uh let's see. Oh, oh Kaufman. Ah. Okay. I assume that's Kaufman Stadium. I don't know what so hey, how do they make their money? I, I have no idea. Background on that. Got me. Uh textile. Could say industrialist. Textiles, probably. <laughs> Plastics. <laughs> so uh, take a look here at, at uh, the standings here. Philadelphia is up nine games on the Mets out in the east. Uh, Houston now with a two-game lead over the Atlanta Braves. So that's, the Braves have been kind of sleepwalking all year, but Houston's really put a charge in lately. So uh, we'll see how that all shakes out. This is the NL North that we were talking about, where St. Louis leads three games over Chicago, but they have the two best records uh, in the National League. And Pittsburgh's only a game and a half behind Chicago. If the season ended today, Chicago and Pittsburgh would be your wild card teams from the National League. So it puts Cincinnati in last place at 60 and 47. Man. And not a bad squad, but that's just a meat grinder of a division up there. Uh, the Dodgers with a four game lead on San Diego. Uh, we'll see if the Padres could bounce back. Uh, the Yankees are well in control of the East at 11 games up, but Boston is the top wild card team in the American League quite uh, by quite a ways. Oh, here we go. Here's the uh, Ewan Kaufman update from Cameron Fletcher. That's hmm. that's one. Oh. Even though I have no ties to Kansas City or the Royals, I love that stadium. The yeah. waterfalls in KC are, are just something really cool. So. That's one. That's I've never seen a game there. I'd love to see a game in, in Kansas City at some point. Hold up my wear my Frank White jersey, just so everybody, <laughs> everybody knows I'm a real fan. <laughs> uh, but Boston's strong, uh, uh, leading the American League wild card chase. Baltimore is in that chase, but Chicago and Cleveland are both just one game back of that wild card. So uh, that one should be fun to watch as we go down the stretch. Birmingham is running away with the South, although Kansas City is putting a little push together, but it's about two months too late. Uh, Detroit's uh, up in the North again, Chicago and Cleveland, three games back. Chicago and Cleveland actually closer to the wild card than the division lead. Tiger fan number one, Tino is uh, is here to bang me. Yeah, Cameron, that would be cool. Maybe someday we'll do a little tour. Oh, look at this. The road trip would be phenomenal. When we hit when we hit 100k followers on Facebook, we'll uh... right. <laughs> and you could help. Although I imagine if you're here, you're probably you're probably <laughs> giving us the like on Facebook, which we, we certainly appreciate. And again, that's how you can help us, man. Like our posts, share our posts, uh, follow our Facebook channel, uh, retweet our stuff on Twitter or X if you prefer. Uh, check out our stuff on Instagram, and again, like, subscribe, spread the word. Make this tour happen. That uh, would be right. amazing one summer. Yeah. We just go every stadium. Yeah. We can't do it all year, but maybe we'll take the summer off some year and just <laughs> do, the, do the cruise. That'd be cool. Uh, and then out west, Minnesota's up a game below 500, but a game up on the Angels out west. But something I'm kind of excited about here, Seattle's never made the playoffs in our first three seasons. There are only two this games. Is it, man. This it's is five it. Ga five games under 500, but only two games back. We just need so, to activate Mike Kingery, and we are rolling. Oh, it's going to be so good. Mike Blowers is totally going to lead the playoff push uh, for Seattle. The only thing, and this is nitpicky, but one of the only uh, laments we have about uh, the program we use, which is Action PC Baseball. I can see it down here at the bottom uh, from DK Sports. If you want to check it out, they also they do everything, man. They do golf. They do basketball. They do uh, football, hockey, everything. If you want to, if you like fantasy sports. Check out uh, DKSports.com. That is an unpaid plug, uh, but we like their software yes, absolutely. just that much. But uh, I have to pop the standings open to actually see the wild card, and this is going to be way too small. But down here at the bottom, you can see there are two wild cards. So Chicago and Pittsburgh are kind of running away with it in the National League. Cincinnati's next up, but they're seven games back of the mm -hmm. second wild card. In the American League, Boston's got the top spot. Baltimore is second, five games back of Boston. 
But again, Cleveland and Chicago, only one game back of Baltimore. So that one should be fun to watch uh, as we go down the stretch. Um, one of the things we wanted to point out this week, um, I like that we're four seasons in, and once in a while a fan will bring up a player that we hadn't thought of. And boom, if, if it makes sense statistically, they get on the roster right away. So not like the Phillies needed more help up nine games in, in the East. But uh, Ed McCarg on our Facebook page said, hey, what about Greg the Bull Luzinski? And I'm like, got such a good name, right? I believe he was part of the Bobby Heenan family back in the day. Uh, Greg the Bull. But uh, a Phillies just terror in the mid-70s. And again, it's the stats in eternal baseball are every player's best three consecutive seasons average. So we isolate their statistical peak. And Luzinski 100% belongs. And I'm sorry if you're a big fan of Pat the Bat Burl, but he's the one that got the boot. Uh, so the bat is out and the bull is in. Knocked in a run in his first eternal baseball game ever. So uh, welcome to the very big. Game. I love the the build of those seventies players, man, yeah. like Lazinski and Gorman Thomas, and just, so yeah. good. Just all 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 legit too. Feels like feels like it, but uh, the bull is in. Uh, and again, we've said since day one, we'll never know any team better than their diehard fans. So. Take a look at the rosters. If we're missing somebody, let us know. It ain't hard to, to drop somebody in. And we want every team to be as competitive as possible. So uh, kudos to Ed for cluing us in. And uh, we'll see what Greg Luzinski does down the stretch. Cameron um, nailed it. It's the beer league look. Uh, yeah, exactly beer league it. softball. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Where every other guy is number 69 and has the whammer on the back of his jersey, right? That's exactly who we want. Um, let's see. Uh, just bouncing around the league a little bit here. Took some notes uh, before we went in. So uh, some things going on. Atlanta's got a four-game losing streak. That's helped Houston take control of the National League South. Uh, nice of my dog to scratch the couch right behind the microphone. Emma, that's great. Why don't you see this right here, Emma? Why don't you, Emma, chase that. Huh. You can train a dog, sometimes live on TV. Uh, let's see. Uh, Boston, three-game winning streak. Detroit, a three-game winning streak. Uh, Houston, part of their run has been a 10-game hit streak from Cesar Cedeno. Kansas City has lost three in a row. The Dodgers have won three in a row. Uh, in Pittsburgh, Arky Vaughn has a 13-game hit streak. And then the sad, the, the tough news, really. Tampa Bay, seven losses in a row. Washington, 11 losses in a row so it's i hate to say it but as you go down uh alphabetically on our list when you get down to tampa toronto texas and washington it really kind of feels like the seller of eternal baseball so oh well, dave like, yeah like this that's not that's not due to me man that's due to the blues brothers uh, <laughs> but it's a good way to get illinois nazis off your trip <laughs> Uh, so uh, that, that's basically it. That's what we have going on. Uh, looking at the game today. So it is Cardinals at Cubs. St. Louis has a three-game lead on the Cubs in the NL North. Uh, but the Cubs won the first game of the series today, 4-1, to one, behind homers from Gabby Hartnett, his 20th, and Ryan Sandberg, his 14th, and a complete game from Mordecai Brown, upping his record to 16-9. and nine. Mm. What we have for you is game two tonight. Uh, which is Slim Sully, a left-hander for the Cardinals, who we pointed out in our uh, newsletter on Saturday, one of the hardest pitchers to beat this season. He's 14-2 and two, uh, with a 2.68. Uh, and he'll be facing Jake Arrieta, who is 8-2 and two with a 3.59. So we're let's headed go. out to the friendly confines. Let's, uh, let's load it up here. Again, here's tomorrow's scores, so... Here's your screenshot opportunity to do with flash photography. Uh, <laughs> we'll pop it. Man, Wrigley's so pretty. I mean, come on. That's a pretty but, cool spot. All right, so we're going to pretend to be controlling both teams so we can set the roster for both teams. But as we talked about, it is Slim Sully and Jake Arietta. 
And so Lee's a left-hander, so we're going to take a look at which uh, Cubs really pound the lefties. One thing to watch here is Gabby Hart, and it says usage means he's on pace to get more at-bats than he ever had in uh, actual Major League Baseball. So when they're when you're past that uh, not peak, but when you're past that pace, uh, it start the computer starts limiting your numbers a little bit. It's essentially overuse. So. Uh, oh, look at Mordecai Brown averaging <laughs> five wins a finger. Is it too soon? A couple of great, great yeah. seasons. Holy I think Arietta, that one, I forget if it was when he first came over from Baltimore, but he had a second half like almost no other ever. It was only half a season, but it was the good half, right? It was a stretch half, and he was basically untouchable. So it's a, it's a good matchup tonight. Looking forward to it. Even though these guys pitched more than 100 years apart, uh, they're both spry. They look well rested. <laughs> so uh, here we go with the Cubs uh, against lefties. It looks like Ernie Banks is the killer. We'll have to watch. Uh, we got flexibility with Banks. This is a fantastic first baseman, too, and a decent third baseman. So he gives us lots of options. Love to keep him at short. Probably will. But Banks has more positional versatility than a lot of the so – most of the greatest players in baseball just played in one spot, right? Because why would you move them? But Ernie Banks gives us uh, some opportunity here. Uh, Billy Williams is our only left near the top here. So he's probably going to hit third to break up our guys. From an on-base percentage, it looks like it's Ryan Sandberg leading off. And then – Man, it says Javi Baez just murdering left-handers. But I got a hard time putting him in over Aramis Ramirez hitting second. Yeah, your call, man. Uh, we'll Ramirez get them all in. Years. Let's get Ramirez in here third. And then it'll be Baez. Now, Baez is uh, a fantastic shortstop as well. So actually rated a little better defensively. So maybe Banks ends up at first base today um, because we got two good third basemen already in Ramirez and Santo. Got to get it. Wil got to get it. Wilson, a long favorite of, of Roto uh, in center. Rizzo doesn't play because uh, he would just play first. We need right field. Man, it says Chris Bryant. Look at this. Hitting 111, but with a 444 slugging. Uh, He's inactive. So. Yeah, we could activate him, or we could go with Kiki Kyler or Sammy Sosa. Let's Sammy in. Let's have some fun. Just so the Cubs fans don't fall completely in love with us. We'll yeah. hit him with Sammy Sosa. <laughs> uh, and then your catcher, yeah, it's probably going to be Hartman, uh, even though he's played a whole lot. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, there we All go. All right, looking good. Let's check these Cardinals out. Good to see Whitey Herzog drop it in. Obviously, Jack Clark too. The only uh, the only guy really missing is Chick Hafey, who's had a really good year, a really good year, but he's hurt right now. Won't be back for about a month. I think we want to activate Lou Brock, even if we don't start him. I gotta I gotta think we want Lou Brock coming off the bench at some point. So we'll sit Bill White just for today. Uh, but your lefty murderer, this can't be in very many at bats, is Jack Clark. But I'm okay with Jack Clark. Yeah, I love me some Jack Clark. You good with that? All right. Yeah, for so, sure. So this is not a lot of at bats, but Red, oh, Shane Deanst, I think. I'm sure. Yeah, that's pretty but, good. Uh, I guarantee the computer will do a worse job. <laughs> uh, but we'll get him in there. Rogers Hornsby is not having the year he had last year, but he was the NL MVP in season three in a runaway. So Hornsby is an inferior second baseman to Shane Dean. So it looks like he's our DH. Joe Medwick in left. Wow, Stan Musial's way down there against lefties, but we're going to get him in. in. Got to get him in, in right? Uh, okay, so it's Pujols at first. Mize might sit. We'll see. Oh, Pujols can play a really shaky third. We'll hey, see. We're the Cubs, right? That's not our problem. <laughs> hey, that's right. Gets Johnny Mize in the game. Man. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to bench Jim Edmonds for Stan Musial, but 
I don't think anyone's going to mind. Nobody's crying for that. Maybe Musial. This is only against lefties. Musial's uh, weaker against lefties. He was a left-handed hitter. So we have him hitting eighth, which feels like total sacrilege, but whatever. Uh, Ted Simmons catches, and then it's got to be Ozzy Smith, right? Frankie Frisch has slightly better numbers, but he's not as good a shortstop. And yeah, no Cardinal sure. fan's going to yell at us for playing Ozzy Smith. Cameron's got a suggestion on the batting order. Oh, what do we got here? You want to swap Shane Deuce and Hornsby? I'm not going to argue with you. There you go. All right. Like, we are here to help uh, and to listen. So we appreciate the, uh, the suggestion. I think we're ready for ball. Pitching for Chicago, number 49. You can hear that? Yep. All right. Good. Leading off for St. Louis, designated hitter, Rogers Hornsby. Play right. ball! Now we got to remember to give control back. We can, well, we're always the home team. So that makes St. Louis the computer. Look, Cameron Fletcher, Cub fan, and he's helping out. Or is he? We'll see. We'll see. Double agent. Right, could be. Uh, we'll see. All right, so uh, let's go get him. Jay Carrietta looks excited. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe these heads are too small. Always sensitive. As a guy with a large noggin himself, <laughs> we certainly don't want to shortchange anybody. Let's see. I'll leave it to your discretion. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty big. That's a little big. All right, we'll go back. All right, here we go. Oh, that is, sorry about that. I got to give control back to the car. Jake We're off and running. Joe. There we go. Joe Medwick. Jake Hall of Famer. Second baseman. Red, Sherm Deans. This is easy. Yeah, so could, we, yeah whatever. I'm I don't think it. we're going <laughs> to improve too much on it. You're probably going to make it better. Oh, look at that. Uh, Red. Not, I forget what his right real fielder, name is. Jack Somebody else Clark. looked that up. But Red, because he had red hair. So that's our fault for pitching to the redhead. <laughs> look at Jack this, Clark, dude. This is Jack Love Clark. It. Yeah. I don't, I don't know when uh, Michael Strahan needs his teeth back, but... <laughs> Oh, oh no! He didn't like that at all. Look at Wilson. Yeah, Wilson. Pitching for right. St. Louis, Slim. To not even spill his whiskey. Off for Chicago, <laughs> second baseman, Ryan Sandberg. Slim Sully. And there we go. Right. Third baseman, Aramis Ramirez. Sixty-five percent, Roto. I, yeah, Ted, I we can get, do some work on Ted Simmons, but. What is he at an eight arm, six arm? What does that say? Five arm. Five arm. Oh, five arm. Let's do it. Oh, hang on. Let's this run ourselves out of the same. Albert Fred. Huh. Cameron Fletcher is going to be the player of the game. I got news for you. Seriously. Albert Fred. There we go. Albert Fred's Shane Deans, I believe. Do you want to send Sandberg? Let's send him. All right. For the ladies. Right. Well, uh, so they got to watch him walk back to the dugout. So, yeah, yeah, lady's pretty happy with that. Here's uh, Aramis Ramirez. <laughs> Love that Ryan Sandberg retired, divorced his wife, then came back and signed a new Left contract fielder, that she got. Billy of. Williams. That's uh, that's yeah, you gotta guy. respect that. That's some good age. I love it. Yeah, yeah. here's uh, Billy Williams. Well, she was, you know, not to disparage anyone, but she was. Yeah. Didn't there were, him as well as she probably could have, right? There were reasons First for that. Basement, yes. <laughs> uh, Billy Williams is safe, but unfortunately, he's only 26% to steal. Look at this. Yeah, James, I think there is a little clicking. I can hear it, too. I don't hear it. I don't know if it's maybe one of our mics or... That's bizarre. All right, well... I wish I could help you with that. If there was a, a thing I could click off that was annoying hot pen dog, noise. Hot right. dog, hot dog vendor. We're never getting rid of the hot dog vendor. The hot dog guy. That maybe, much. maybe he's clicking a pen, waiting to take an order. Uh, <laughs> here's Ernie Banks. Walking. Ooh, you don't have a zipper, going. do you? Like uh, I do. Here. I Bye. guess it could be my mic. Maybe it's Here's popping the zipper. I'm going to zip it up even more. Oh. We'll see. All right, here Bobby. we go. Let me know. We're just here to help. Uh, here's Javi Baez. 
Two down. I don't hear anything. Maybe that was it. Look at that. We solved our problem. Billy Williams. You gotta send him. Oh, they didn't, oh. They didn't even give us Wrong. the option. Oh, no. And Medlick's got a bad arm, but whatever. So it's all up to Ron Santo. Boom, boom. Walking, we'll take it as the Cubs take a one nothing lead. Send your right. Sacks Hack. are Wilson. packed. <laughs> Too bad They're I ran silver. Oh, hack. Yes, it's happening. You got a little of it. Oh, a lot of it. Oh, but no. Oh, no. no. <sighs> Man, Jack Clark covers some five. ground, baby. <laughs> Pujols. Actually, oh, he gets some stolen bases, didn't he? He did, actually, yeah. I can't let Pujols go. We got to show him more respect for that. So. <laughs> Pujols. Saw a shirt in a uh, at a Chicago uh, All-Star Fan Fest that a Cubs fan was wearing that said, Cardinals fans like it in their poo holes. <sighs> That's as bad as the Jeter shirt in Boston, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much, right? All right, so let's try it. Pool halls. It's better. Just pool hall? Like billiards? Pool. pool. <laughs> yeah, right? Pool halls. Better. Maybe. Pool holes. We'll take it. Declare right. victory and go home. Yeah, good enough. It's a B. <laughs> a B. <laughs> a a C B. plus or whatever. Yeah, no problem. All right, Jake Arietta against Mr. Pujols. Ah, oh, here you go. First baseman, yeah. Johnny Mize. I'll Google that later. I don't know which one that is, but. I remember ki kids used to like wearing that to school in Chicago. Get kicked out for a Fukudome shirt. <laughs> uh, here's Johnny Mize. Who was an absolute terror, but he's not fast. So Ramirez has him. Catcher Ted Simmons. Simba was his nickname due to the Latin lion's mane. I think he's got going back there. Drake three. Oh, but he's right down. fielder Sammy Sosa. Come on, Cubs fans. You used to cheer this guy. <laughs> oh, he got a lot of that. Did he get it? No, not enough. Catcher Gabby. Hartnett. Gabby Homer in the first game of this series. But not today. Well, not now, anyway. Yeah, Cameron's right about Fukudome. Uh, okay, here's uh, Rhino. Who people forget started as a Philly. That's right, huh? They got him for, was it Gary Maddox? I, oh, man. Whatever it was. Not a good deal, <laughs> but yeah, Samber came up as a Philly. Hey. Let's see, thirty-four percent Roto. No, it did. Samber didn't come through Ben, did he? I don't. Th oh boy, the time we would have heard about that. I think he might have been so good that he might have skipped. <laughs> Skip Low a ball, a -ball. <laughs> Northwest a ball. Come on, <laughs> nobody's that. We would have heard about it, right? Even if he wasn't that good then, we would have heard about it later, right? Homer Ryan Sandberg. Yeah, yeah. There would have been a statue probably. Yeah, definitely. Right above the Albertsons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we got had, had the Ryan Sandberg big head on the side of the Albertsons. Yeah. So. <laughs> so we got first and third, two down for Billy Williams. James, that sounds like a uh, Mardi Gras shirt. or <laughs> Center fielder. Stand, uh, mutual. Let's not forget about the Sean O'Meter in center field. Uh, here's Stan Musial. Who terrifies me. I don't mind walking Stan the man. Short stop. I was reading so much Stan. I, I, I never see anything bad ever written about him. He was right? supposed to be like just the nicest guy. I think it was in, in one of your posts talking about how he gave back money one year because he yeah. had a down season right come on <laughs> back then when when you know the the stand usuals of the world were just baseball players but more than half the league were you know postal workers and you know butchers and, yeah like 
lumberjacks in the off season. So giving money back was not done, but but he did. I read a story about might have been spring training, I forget when, but uh, Mickey Mantle had the Musials over for dinner. So they came over and had dinner with him and his wife. And when they left, Mrs. Mantle said, boy, he's a, what a nice guy. And Mickey said, that's who I should have been. Ooh. Right. If I, if I'd have stayed clean, not clean, but yeah. if I, if I hadn't, hadn't have partied, if I hadn't have got hurt, I could have had a 20 year career like Stan Musial. So yeah, mm, that's tough. everybody likes Stan the man. Here's Ozzy Smith. Whoa, whoa. Walking. Oh boy. So Cameron was saying, so it was, oh, Larry Boa and Sam Bird. I'm at the Hazes. Now, those are some old names. Man. I mean, I know Boa didn't hit a ton, but he could pick it for sure. That's a rough deal, man. Hmm. That reminds me of Lenny Dykstra and Roger McDowell for Juan Samuel. Oof. Mets fans still mad about that. Well, Samuel had it, you know, he had a couple of pretty good years, didn't he? He so. wasn't a terrible oh. player, but he was yeah. he was at the end. Interesting. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh all right. So still two on, nobody out. Two strikes though on Rogers Hornsby. Now he lifts one. Looks so I read today that Mantle had two twin brothers. Like it was like know. Ray and Roy Mantle, I think it was. Maybe I got the names wrong, but Man. I didn't know. I suppose that they were in the Yankee system for a little bit. I don't know how long. Didn't know, long, that. But... Didn't know that. I've always thought one of the best pieces of memorabilia, when Mantle first came up, he struggled with the Yanks, and they sent him back down. When he first came up, they gave him number six mm. because they had, you know, Ruth was three, Garrig was four, DiMaggio was five. So they gave him six as you're the next one. And he only played X amount of games, struggled, got sent back down. When they brought him up for spring training the next year, they had number seven in his locker to give him a totally fresh start. Hmm. So a game used mantle six. Right now it's just it's in some dude's attic, right? Like yeah. ready for that estate sale. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. All right, so we got a fly ball in the deep left. Billy Williams uh, hauls it in. Musial's going to try to take third. We got a ten percent chance to get it. Sure. We'll wing that. We, Ozzy will probably take second, but whatever. Oh, but we can cut it to second and double our chance. 20% to get Ozzy at second. You want 10% at third or 20 at second? Well, let's, let's roll the dice. Let's see if we can get Stan at third. All right. Two. No. Ah, oh, terrible. Another worth terrible it. decision. Worth before this, worth before the fourth inning. I'm just ruining right. it right now. Here's a, oh, here's one of my favorites. The Royals trade David Cohn for Ed Hearn. And Cohn was a local prospect. He grew up in Kansas City as a Royals fan. Barely made the bigs and off he goes. Wow. And then signs with KC in free agency after a little stint in Toronto. And then they trade him again. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, here's uh, Joe Medwick. Wild pitch, Musial comes home, Smith takes third, or pilot pass the ball, fair enough. Either way, we're tied up 1-1. One, one. one down, Joe Midwick, Ozzy at third, oh, sitting down, and Red, ball, ball. Shane Deanst, Ugh. walking. Here's Jack Clark, sitting down, all right. Ernie Banks, run, Ernie, run. He's in there. Oh, nice. Twenty-four percent, Roto. Even I can't justify that one. <laughs> Baez is up. He's a terrible bunter, and he's hitting fifth. We should probably just let him swing that back. Run, Javi, run. It is Ozzy Smith, but Get there. he's there. Oh, oh, review. Come on. Oh, Cameron has a. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So he was, you know, so it was a little bit of retribution. Yeah. There was a little of that. I remember uh, Tom Glavin was one of the big player reps during the the strike holdout, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and he got booed mercilessly the next season, even some at home in Atlanta 
mm. 95, right? Like, come on. But it was a 94 I, I just watched, oh, 95 season. Yeah. Yeah. I just watched the uh, Ken Burns baseball and watching that time again. Because remember, I mean, I'm a Yankee fan. That was the first time they've been good in like six years, good at all. Right. And uh, whenever Seelig or Don Fear showed up on the screen, I just, my fist just balled up. Because remember, well, we just had months of seeing those guys, right? We had no good news, just sour pusses who weren't getting anything done. Oh, that was a disaster. What a, what a rotten year that was. Uh, all right, here's Ron Santo with Ernie Banks on second. Sitting down. Hack Wilson. You got some, but not enough. And we go to the top of the fourth, tied at one. Here's Albert Pujols. Bull, bull. Walking. I don't like leadoff walks, but when it's Pujols in his prime, I'm kind of like, eh. Yeah, it's like Willie Mays. Yeah, yeah. yeah, all right, whatever. At least Pujols isn't going to steal second and third on us. Here's uh, Johnny Mott. Oh, boy. That's a laser. Yeah. yeah. Hit a, broke a window, I think. <laughs> With a two-run shot, as Crash Davis once said, anything going that fast should have a stewardess on it. <laughs> and it's uh, three-one uh, cards. Here's Ted Simmons. Okay, thank goodness we want the catcher legging one out. Time. And stand the man. Uh oh, rain delay. Check your pitchers. All right, let's roll the beast master. So uh, Arietta's tired, <laughs> so it must have been a long rain delay. Let's check our uh, stats here and see uh, what relievers might be trustworthy. Marmols and Strop are having good years, but they don't give you many pitches. Looks like Lee Smith can throw up to 75 pitches. Let's do it. Love me so some Lee Smith. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's. Uh, it may take us a, a batter to get to him. But I think Lee Smith is going to be our uh, our long relief horse here. Warm it up, Lee. We'll challenge Pools later in the game. Yeah, I'm just like Arietta's a tired Arietta is going to pitch to Musial. <laughs> Seems to me like you should be able to put in anybody you want if the rain delay was that long. But Agreed. okay, eh, at least it's in the yard. Single to center. Now we'll visit that bullpen. Do a mound visit. Arietta appears tired. That's fine. Here comes Lee Smith. Pitching for Chicago, number 46. Looking good, Lee. Lee Smith. Oh, and it's a hit and run. Pummel! But Ozzy pulls Oof. a foul. It will get Musial a little dirty here. Make him dive back. Oh, 74. <laughs> Try that pitch out. Yes. Poof. He's me. Well, we'll play. Man. To be the man, you have to beat the man. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Here's Ozzy Smith. Javi Baez is on it. Going to be close. Oh, he's in there. <sighs> Here's another guy who wants to steal. <laughs> You should right, see if DK better. Sports has a wrestling sim. Right? If not, we should write one. <laughs> I don't have much experience in creating wrestling games. <laughs> Here's uh, Roger Torrance sitting down. And now it's Adam Wainwright. For That's kind of cool. Number 50, nice. Adam Wainwright. So if you had Slim Salee uh, not making it out of a rain delay and Adam Wainwright taking the ball, good for you. Uh, he'll be chaos him. here in Wrigley. A little bit. Here's uh, Gabby Hartnett. Track three. And Wainwright could deal in his prime. Yeah, <laughs> prime Wainwright out of the pen. Eternal wrestling. I love it. <laughs> Not bad. It was a. Uh, oh, I think they got Sandberg. We had the People old sprinting to their, their domain yeah. registrar to get all of that one. <laughs> the old Intercontinental Wrestling Federation was a big hit <laughs> at Cascade Junior High back in the day. Here's uh, Joe Medwick. He got quite a bit, but Hack Wilson's a way over. 
Ah, beautiful. I believe he jumped over the ivy, caught the ball, and took a beer from a fan. In the yeah, poured a beer. Play of the year. <laughs> Here's Red Shane Deans tapping out to Rhino. And Jack Clark. Billy Williams is on that. We go to the bottom of the fifth with uh, Aramis Ramirez. Ooh, that looks good. And close, but Medwick's on. Oh, shoot. Billy Williams. Run, Billy, run. It's got to be in there. No way Pools makes that play. Nice. 26%. For old Billy Williams. Mm. He's staying put. Uh, but here's Ernie Banks, cleanup hitter. Come on, Ernie. Uh, mate, no. I thought so, but I got to put my glasses on this week. I keep thinking <laughs> everything's out. Uh, here's Javi Baez. Drink, hey. Sit down. Top of the sixth. Here's Albert. Pull, pull. Walking. Shiny Mize. Popping it up. Ramirez just checking his TikTok. Nine minutes sketch. Ted Simmons. Ball, ball. Walking. Stay on the man. Two on. One out. Shot to center. He's Wilson's on it. it, though. Yeah. Test him. Uh, right? come on, fools. <laughs> fools is a chicken. That's okay. <laughs> uh, here's Ozzy Smith. Ah, uh, with a little floater that's gonna drop. Oh, he's got we got to play here. We got to play. Do we get to throw out who holes? Two percent chance, Roto. Oh, Lordy, come on. Maybe they'll let us cut it though. We need right. somebody else. Sounds good. So, yeah, we'll throw. Nope. Ah, Simmons takes third. It gets away from Gabby Hartnett. No, it's Ozzie all Smith apart. Takes second, four. Nope. At least Simmons didn't score, but it is four-one Cardinals. For as Rogers Hornsby steps to the plate, defending National League MVP, Sammy Sosa puts it away. Now Jason Isringhausen. I might have <laughs> stayed with the. Uh, Wainwright, I don't know, but pitching for St. Louis, number forty-four. That would have been a smarter call. I like that they went with the only guy with a longer name than Wainwright, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think they can take this guy out because unless Shane Deans wants to pitch. <laughs> uh, here's Ron Santo. Now something to watch here. Um, it was Slim Sully to start a lefty, but now they got right-handers coming out of their pen, so. Phil Cavaretta is our best hitter against right-handers. Huh. So, something to think about uh, as the game moves along. Yeah, I don't think Unless we'll think you want that him. <laughs> I him now, but something to think about. Santos sits. Hack Wilson sits. Sammy Sosa pull, pull. walks. Okay. He had some wheels. 28%. Mm. Yeah. Not helping. Hope Gabby hits a bomb. Ball, ball. Gabby walks. It's a rally. Look at this. Here's Rhino, top of the order. One for three on the day. Simmons is like, hey, throw strikes. Ah, oh, pop up. I don't think that one's got the distance, Roto. Johnny Mize puts it away. We go mm. to the seventh. We got a lot of zeros lining up here. Yeah, man. Jeez, we got six hits, but none of them big. Medwick taps out to short. Shane Deanst taps out to short, I think. He's quick. Here's Jack Clark, 0 for 3. Strike 3! 0 for 4, tough day. Oh. Oh, Roboski. There we go. I mean, I'm just happy to Louis, see him, right? Number 39, Al Raviski. <laughs> Raviski? 
<laughs> Rabiski. Rayboski. Ooh. Rayboski. Uh, how about Raboski? Raboski. That's better. Yeah, take it. Well, that's two wins today. Oh, Cameron was making a good point that Smith's uh, Raboski. Oh, not bad. Yeah. We may have to get somebody rolling for it. Let's see who's. Hang on. When it's St. Louis's turn, it'll be. Yeah, left. It'll be right view left and switch left. So left view might not be a bad idea for us. Check Chicago's pitchers. Lefties. Looks like it'll be Paul Ossenbacher. Let's do it. Mid 80s yeah. flashback. And I feel like there's a significant talent drop off from <laughs> Lee Smith to Paul Ossenbacher. But all right, fine. Uh, it's not my fault they don't have better lefties available. Oh, I'm not changing. Sorry, I just want to warm them up. All right. <laughs> All right, Aramis Ramirez. Maybe? Yeah. Oh, look oh, at that. that one. Oh, All right. Tremendous. It's, oh, it was that Wa Waveland Avenue? Ooh, is it Waveland? It's across the street, either way. Yeah. That was Aramis a Ramirez. Ball. 400 foot bomb. Pretty exciting. Uh, we cut that. Uh, yeah, it's only four to two Cardinals now. All right. Good to meet. And if you thought the Hungarian was mad before, <laughs> uh, here's Billy Williams. Drink three. Sit down. Ernie Banks. Come on, Ernie. There, there we go. go. That's, that's a rally starter. 33% for Ernie Banks. Left me on the mound. That doesn't help. Hopefully, Javi's doing one of his leg kick bombs here. Right? Whoa, whoa. Walking. We'll take That'll it. Work. Uh, Ron Santo. All right. Drink three. Oh, sitting down. Hack. Come on, Hack. Two down. It's up to Hack Wilson. Drink three. Sitting ah. down. Jeez. All right, so Smith will pitch to Pujols, and then Awesome Ocker will be ready for two of the next three or lefties. What could go wrong? Right? Oh. That could go wrong. As I said, Smith will pitch to Pujols. Man. <laughs> well, that's a sayonara for you, Lee. Sorry about that. But it's Awesome Ocker time. Pitching for Chicago, Paul. We, if we'd have gone to, to high school in Chicago, we probably would have been the Yahoos in the Ossenmacher and Fukudo jerseys. Yeah, I suspect as much, yeah. Just walking around going, what? Ossenmacher what? pitched for the Braves, too, didn't he? Isn't yeah, that how he did. It, Yeah. I, know I forget if he had guess? more time in Chicago or if he can't make the Atlanta pen. Gotcha. But either way, he's looking good here. I just got a bad feeling about this, man. Ossenmacher. <laughs> Hall of Famer Johnny Mize. All right. I take it back. Ted Simmons. Well. well he's not going to run on us. Okay. Once we get past these lefties, it's a whole bunch of righties. So let's not get in trouble any more than we have to. Bruce Suter. But I can give you Suter, but Marmol has better numbers. Let's see Bruce Suter. All right. Fair enough. You just want to throw that uh, bowling ball sinker. <laughs> we'll get him ready. Drink me. Yeah, he sits mutual down. Did his job. Uh, Ozzy hits lefties better than righties, so. I think you give Osmacher a chance here. Did you give him a shot? Yeah, he's got him. I'm not sure about that, but. Oh, how Sam or knock him up with that? All right. Suitor time. All right. Definitely suited. All these righties. Oh, three right now. Plus, look at that hair. Wow. Ooh. 
Just don't let the sinker get away from you, Gabby, with a runner on third. Got him. All right. Here's Joe Horner. Pitching for St. Louis. Number 43, Joe Horner. Is that a batting helmet? Like a uh, that's batting. A, he's got yeah, he's got a large dome, doesn't he? Man. Uh we are in the bottom of the eighth. Here's Sammy Sosa. It's another lefty. There we go. Oh, oh. he just managed to hit Pujols for the like club. Brad Brooks Robinson down there. Right? <laughs> he's playing right on that line, too. Here's uh Gabby Hartnett. Oh, Stand Cameron was kind enough that. to look up the... Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's pretty well traveled. Well, I mean, lefty, right? I have left hand, will pitch. Oof, man. We got two down, down five to two. Here's Ryan Sandberg. Ooh, it's down the line. It's off the wall. Look at this. Hello, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Hey, we're hanging around. Not bad. All right, Ramirez hit one out earlier. Maybe you can do it again. Well, a <laughs> dribbler. <laughs> Shane News is up with it. Bah. We go to the ninth. Down five to two. Bruce Suter. Joe Medley. Ramirez I see that Randall they really messed with us. Yeah. In our flow. Look at Act of God. <laughs> Throw us off our game today. Here's Red. Strike three. Sitting down. Jack 0 for 4 Clark. Oh, he didn't like that at all. The double to the left center field gap. Now here's Pujols. Oof. Uh, cross your fingers. Hey, what do you know? All right. All right. So One last. Get the rally caps on. That's 3 4 5 uh, against Joe Horner. Oh, he boots it. All right. Safe at first. I don't know. I don't know if we got quite as fast as I remember him. If we have any wheels. Uh, yeah, Kiki Kyler has 21 steals. Do we do it? Or is that? I mean, they play the same positions. Straight swap. Let's May as it. well. All right. Williams ain't coming up again. <laughs> <laughs> Not unless we tie it up. <laughs> 74% Roto. Oh man, what do you do here? I mean, you feeling you got, it? You got your cleanup guy hitting. So. Yeah, I think you got to let him hit, but. All right. Shoot. But he's faster anyway. Oh, they don't want him. They don't Where's want none. Ooh. There we go. Does Kyler take third? Let's see. 49% chance. No, thank you. No, thank you. But the tying run's coming to the plate. Here we go. Let me just check to make sure. It is Javi Baez, and we're facing a left-hander. It's either a home run or a strikeout. Yeah, we, we don't have a better shot than him. The only guys we might pinch hit for are uh, Hartnett or Sosa here with Rizzo. So we'll see if we get there. It's, uh, ooh, he get it over him? He did get it over him. It's off the wall. Oh, is that two? 86% chance to send bags home. Uh, Nobody out. I don't think you do it, man. What do you... Because a base knock gets the tie and run home anyway. Yeah, and it gives us three shots at it. Although, no unless you think Baez can take third. If they got Banks, Baez would take third on the throw, but... Or do you think Baez might down. go anyway? Or will they give us the option here in a sec? I don't know if they give us the option or if they just do it. I think let's just just send him. Let's just go. All right. Oh, look, they didn't even make the throw. They held by a second. Man, we got a rally going here. Five to four with Santo with the game winning bomb right here. Ron Santo. Ah, it's a line out from Medwick. One down. All right, we're going to do a little executive work here because Joe Horner's tired. And shame on them for keeping him on the mound. So, Cubs have righties coming up. We're taking control of St. Louis here. Hang on. Let me check their Where's overall the first guy stats. Put in? Todd Warren. Because I don't want anybody to think we're throwing John the game. <laughs> Who's their best? 
Man, their pen is not. Oh, it's well, Rosenthal's barely pitched, but nobody scored on him, and Worrell's awful. So, yeah, it is Rosenthal. I think we found the Cardinals' weakness. It's the pen. <laughs> uh, but it will be Trevor Rosenthal warming up. All right. And since we're not stealing or anything, I'm just going to control it for this one at bat. Cameron was wondering if there's anybody else that would be a better option than uh, oh, for Hack. Hack. Let's see. Hack is over. I don't think against lefties, but we'll take a look here. Let's see. So batting against lefties. No. Rizzo is almost exactly the same. You know what? Cameron, you call it. Numbers are almost exactly the same. <laughs> a little more power for Rizzo. Do you want Rizzo for Wilson? Or do you want to save Rizzo to hit for Sosa next? We'll, we Rizzo. await your answer. <laughs> we need some uh, Jeopardy music. Yeah. I mean, we won't wait all night, Cam, but you've been helping us out, and you're Cub fan number one. So you want Rizzo for Wilson here, or you want Rizzo for Sosa next? I can't believe that he, he closed the always, window at this point, right? No, it's always delayed a little bit. Yeah. So. We'll wait. Oh, I do it. Might as well get some. All right. All, all right. right. You're, well, your call. Good. Which which absolves us of any response. I love it. I, I'm all about that. Has it. <laughs> so it'll be Rizzo for Wilson. Uh, and it is true. For Chicago. Rizzo hits Number lefties 44. well. Always has. Anthony so, Rizzo. And this is the lone shot before Trevor Rosenthal is coming in. So good point. Uh, yeah, because you'll uh, if Rosenthal comes in, we'll counter with Cabaretta, who's murder on right. So perfect. One down. 5-4 Cardinals, ninth right. inning, Baez on second, Horner's tired. Here's the pitch. Oh, pitch and hit. Don't screw this up. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Look at that. Jack Clark is up with it. 57% chance if we send Oh, Baez. man. Oh, man. I think you sent him. I think you got to do it. Yeah. Think, think about it. Does it? Rosenthal's coming in, and if we well, it's two guys would have a chance, but you might have a double play. I, I say we send him. Let's send him. Oh, St. Louis, yes, we'll throw home. We're still controlling St. Louis here. We're not sending Rizzo to second, right? Right. Okay. Throw. Oh, what a throw! He said. <laughs> Tied All right, up. five to five. Okay, now That's while we're Chicago, Cameron. oops, hang on. We got to do a mound trip. Horner is extremely tired, no doubt. Boo, we'll put in Trevor Rosenthal and then we'll give St. Louis back to the computer. Pitching for St. Louis, number 44. Come on, Sosa. Are you gonna do what's his name? Oh, Phil Cavaretta. Yeah. Look at this guy. Absolute, oh, wait. Murders right-handers. So, yeah, Phil. Boy, when we get out of this, though, we're going to need a new left and center fielder. That's all right. We'll walk it off. We got rigs. We better. Uh, <coughs> I'm just Excuse trying to see how we lose our center fielder. Are we, Rizzo went out. We still have... Oh, and we put Kyler. Kyler can play one of the corners or center, I think. Let's see. Where's Kyler? Kyler can play a, a mediocre center, so that's Perfect. okay. All right. Cabaretta can play left or right. So can Riggs Stevenson. Notice King Kelly down here is like, hey, guess who can play all the positions? Or skip. <laughs> put me in, coach. <laughs> all right, fine. It's Phil Cabaretta. For Sammy Sosa. Love it. Love it. Here we go. Okay. Pinch hitting for Chicago. Number 43. Look at those eyebrows, Bill man. Oh. Right oh. He's all business. Uh, he that really Italian is. is all business. Drink three. Sit down. Ah, come on, Gabby. Gabby Harden, who's so tired. <laughs> but <laughs> Oh, looks like a single center. 
Rizzo to third, 95% chance. Sure. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a pass ball. Run, Rizzo, run. He's in there easy. First and third for Ryan Sandberg, bottom of the ninth. Oh, damn, we got a one in five chance to end this on a stolen yeah. base. Yeah, I'm not, not, for, not with the Rizzo. But Rhino. All right, Rhino. Sitting down. Ah, we go to Evans. Uh, Bruce Suter can get through this. There's no outfield right now. <laughs> right? There's nobody there. Okay, so. Time to work some Tyler magic. Tyler can play center. Can Rizzo Leo, play right? I don't think so. Let's see. No. Uh, but Cabaretta can. So Cabaretta plays, actually plays a better left. Wait. I'm screwing this up. Kyler in center, Cabaretta in left, and... Riggs. Riggs Stevenson. Riggs. Riggs only plays left. So Riggs for Cabaretta. Oh, wait, no. Rizzo. Oh. No, thank you. Riggs for Rizzo this is hard. And triple switch. Uh, Riggs only plays left. That puts Cabaretta in right. And we have Wilson Contreras as the lone guy on our bench. All right, man. Here we Just go. In case something happens. Extra again, baseball. Yeah. All right. And our other good reliever is Pedro Strop. So if he gets in trouble at all, it's Pedro Strop warming up. Yeah, we're leaving Banks in, taking hours. Here we go. Extra baseball. It's the best 75 minutes of baseball you'll see all week. <laughs> Pops out to Rhino. Ted Simmons lines out to Phil Cavaretta, who brought his glove. Oh, Stan Musial. We got an old outfield right now. We do. Here's Aramis Ramirez. One bomb. Wow, center fielder, Kiki, Coiler. Coiler, I think it's Kyler. Fantastic bunter. Shall we surprise him? Let's do it. The all right. Nope. Simba's all over that. Simmons. Oh, Shane just can't come up with it. Send Tyler him. Tyler goes oh. to second. There it is. This is it, Ernie Banks. Here's Ernie Banks. One down. The stars. Winning run on second. The hot shot down the line. Pujols can't come up with it. Did First he, and uh, third. And Rosenthal is exhausted. They're not keeping an eye on their pitchers, uh, Roto. All right. Boy. What do we do? Let's give him the worst possible. John Tudor. Right. Good Who's John. The, Todd Worrell's been their worst. Oh, okay. Uh, Todd Worrell. Uh, Tudor. I, hang on. Who's coming up for Chicago? Bunch Maybe of Dizzy. Rays. I mean, is Dizzy Dean in the rotation? Yes, yeah, who the rotation is. Okay. It's Chris Carpenter who isn't. So that's oh, okay. That's probably their who they're going to go with because their pen's so crappy. Uh, oh, okay. So bullpen. All right. It wouldn't let me do it because I'm, it says the computer's controlling him. And I'm like, well, it's not keeping an eye on its pen at all. <laughs> Chris Carpenter. Warm up. He, he's going to take a little time, though. Come on, Control. Baez. Control back to St. Louis. Here we go. Just a little knock. Right? Just a little bit. Uh, all right. My ball. Oh, they're checking <gasps> on Banks. 52% for Banks. <laughs> ball, ball. He walks Baez. Oh, man. He's tired, man. All right, so. Oh, they brought him out. Oh, in. I guess they had Worrell warm it up. Pitching oh. for St. Louis. All right. Number 38, Todd Worrell. I mean, I like the move on mustache alone. <laughs> but Maybe I'll just walk him in. That'd be nice, Andy. That'd be cool. There's Ron Santo. One out. Challenge Ron. 0 oh, for 4, Ron Santo. Oh. oh. Ron. We needed about 200, yeah. 200 more feet on that one, buddy. I didn't even go 60 feet. Left uh. field. Riggs. Riggs Stevenson. Stevenson off the bench. All right, Riggs. Is it hero time? Look at that. Get down, get down. Winner. Riggs Stevenson. The final score. Ooh. That was a pretty good little comeback. That was maybe our best win. Bruce Sutter is the winner. Yeah. I thought we were dead in the water, but 
Rosenthal came off the deck with three in the he bottom now of the nine. 14 hits in the hit home run number 18 on the season. Johnny Mize hit number 21. Suter, the Suter uh, is hit number love it. Time of the game, three hours, 48 <laughs> minutes. Ooh, 348. That's a long game. So, uh, so who has a, do, that, rain delay, that rain delay might have been a good thing for us because it got 14 and two Slim Salee <laughs> out of the game. And St. Louis had to go to their pen. I didn't know their pen was so rotten this year. And they weren't terrible here, other than Horner and Roboski. Isringhausen was, they should have stuck with Wainwright longer. He only got two innings out of Wainwright. But uh, there you go. A win for Bruce Suter. Uh, Lee Smith, eh, not great. But Austin Mocker and uh, Bruce Suter getting it done with three innings of scoreless relief, five strikeouts, three hits, no walks. It was pretty good. Pretty exciting. It's a simple game, folks. Uh, but yeah, that that felt good coming off the deck, uh, winning one here, and the uh, Cubs will have a chance to go for that sweep on Tuesday. So appreciate you guys joining us for the Eternal Baseball Podcast. Uh, the MVP, of course, is Cameron Fletcher. Yes, uh, for what a call. All, all the Wikipedia help along the way, yes. and the, the pinch hitting suggestions helping us keep an eye on the bullpen. Which is, has been the Achilles' heel uh, Thanks, at James, times. For joining us, and we appreciate, it. yeah, appreciate uh, everybody here. If you liked what you saw here, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can find Eternal Baseball on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter or X. Find us on Instagram, or and the best of all, you can find us on our homepage, EternalBaseball.com. We have team-specific uh, message boards in our forums. So you can let us know who's playing too much, who's not playing enough, who'd we forget altogether on your favorite team's roster. As we said earlier, if it makes statistical sense, we will make the change in a heartbeat. Just ask Greg Luzinski. So <laughs> if we're missing a guy, let us know. We, we want every team to be as competitive as possible, and you can help us with that. But that's how we roll. It's usually 60 minutes. Uh, this Tonight we went 70, but that's okay. You also got a bonus inning at no extra charge. So, uh, appreciate you joining us. Uh, it's always a good time. Uh, and uh, we hope we'll see you again next week on another thrilling edition of Thanks, the Eternal Baseball Podcast. Thanks, everyone.